Hi, in my last video I showed you my new toy, a CTC i3 Pro B 3D printer. In this video I'm gonna do some mods to it. I decided to upgrade my 3D printer with these 8x8 lead screws, uh, the most popular lead screws you're gonna hear about in 3D printing community. They are 8 millimeters in diameter, they have 4 starts which means it has 4 separate threads, 2 millimeter pitch which means the thread are 2 millimeters apart uh, and 8 millimeters lead. If you multiply the number of threads with the pitch you'll get the lead which means at a complete revolution the linear distance traveled would be 8 millimeters. The motors are 1.8 degrees per step if you divide 360 degrees which uh, is a full rotation by 1.8 you'll get 200 steps per revolution and if you divide the 8 millimeters by 200 steps per revolution you'll get 0 0.04 millimeters travel per step so we are going to use this number to modify in the firmware the um, value for these screws enough talking let's get to work now So now I have the screws fitted and if I ask the 3D printer to travel along the Z axis for one millimeter, that's much more. See, if I ask for 10, which is one centimeter, goes much more. So that's why you, you need to, to modify the firmware for the screws that you have but before modifying the firmware i'm gonna introduce you the second mod of this video which is this display the 12864 so this one comes with two two connectors here and two cables, two uh, 10 pins IDC cables, which I modified. So I connected the um, LCD to the board. Let's power it up. As you can see, the LCD turns on. but it starts beeping so you need to upgrade the firmware in order to make it work to upgrade the firmware you need an AVR ISP device like this or you can use any Arduino just upload the Arduino ISP sketch to it which you're gonna find it under file examples Arduino ISP then yeah, then just upload the sketch to the to the Arduino 
and after that connect your Arduino board to your 3D printer board over the ISP according to this schematic then you can burn the bootloader to burn the bootloader you have to disconnect the power from the from the board connect the adapter or the wiring in your case then connect your Arduino or your AVR USB ASP programmer to your computer. To burn the bootloader you need to have the ANET board installed so you go to this link I will put it in description as well you download it and extract it on and extract it under the documents Arduino and hardware folder then you open your Arduino program you go under tools find your board here in it v1.0 uh, I use the OptiBoot bootloader because it doesn't take that much space and then just burn the bootloader you will see so uh, at the end uh, you will see this AVR dude done uh, thank you okay so after you burn the bootloader you connect the power and the USB to the board then you have to download the Marlin firmware from the Marlin website or from the github check the description for the link and remember I told you earlier in the video about some calculations well now is the time to use those numbers so you head over to blog.prusaprinters.org slash calculator I will put the link in the description as well and you search for the steps per millimeter lead screw driven systems so the motor step angle is 1.8 degree which means 200 steps per revolution uh, the lead screw pitch is 2 millimeter per revolution and the pitch preset is M8 metric 8 uh, don't, you don't have to worry for this 1.25 millimeter per rotation so the number I need to put in the software is 1600 but because the screw I'm using has four starts I have to modify the gear ratio from 1 to 1 to 4 to 1 so the new number is 400 if you only do this mod to your 3D printer you can use the M92Z400 command or whatever your value is but because I need to upgrade the LCD2 I have to modify the firmware as well so now is the time to open the Arduino sketch and from here you need to do some minor modifications so first thing you need to do is to head over to configuration.h then search for movement settings here you will see the line default axis steps per unit and modify the existing value with your value then upload the sketch to your board if you do the LCD mode as well don't upload the, the Arduino sketch yet and under the Marlin folder the one with the Arduino sketch open the SRC folder and then the pins and then Sanguino and open the pins anet 10.h file I use notepad++ to edit it so here you have to search for elif which stands for else if and modify the pins definitions here as mentioned under the alternative rep wrap discount wiring so you have to copy this and replace these lines and then uh, just save the the file and open the Arduino sketch so under the configuration.h search for discount full and uncomment this line here so if you get an image like this after you upload the the firmware you need to add these three lines 
and this will solve the problem and before uploading the sketch make sure you have um, the same board selected as when you burn the bootloader so if you choose the if you had the OptiBoot version make sure you select the OptiBoot version as well before uploading the sketch so now the sketch is almost uploaded and here's the result so if you speaker keeps beeping you can cut the speaker wire as I did so if you are getting this error EEPROM version uh, you need to go under the configuration then advanced settings and initialize EEPROM then just restart the board So as you can see now the problem is solved. So one of the features I like is um, that I can home any axis independently and I also have the bed leveling for those of you who will do this procedure you will see in the in the sketch that you have more options for the bed leveling you you'll just have to activate the one that suits you this is all for now and thank you for taking the time to watch my video if you know someone that may find my video interesting don't forget to share it and also consider subscribe to my channel if you're not so until next time don't just sit there do something